So this is a box obviously, but inside is another HP stream. And I know I said I was going to try and avoid buying more things. But there is a reason for this one. Um, reason number one is it is very cheap. It was around £15. Um, and the postage was reasonable as well. Um, maybe even £3.50 or something like that. Um, but there's some other random benefits in that this actually came with this HP and oh, the cables a bit oh, I didn't see that on the listing the cables not great is it and taped up but this is a 135 watt HP power supply so I don't know whether that's going to be um, much use well useful because it'll be able to power um, laptops that need more power so this probably on its own if the cable was fine would be worth 15 pounds but the kind of main idea with this was that i think i should have got an hp stream 11 that is identical to this one and the plan or benefit of that is that I should be able to have them both running side by side and compare operating systems. So why don't I just power this up and show you what I mean. So this is the laptop I've just bought. It's probably got a dead battery. They all tend to, apart from this pink one, which doesn't for some reason. But this has got a little sticker, so we'll be able to tell the difference between the two different laptops. So I'm going to plug the power in, switch it on and see what we've got. Is anything happening? Now we've got a little light here. So I think that's a light, yep. And I've got the usual error due to um, the CMOS being flat. Let's just wipe the screen. And it looks like it's going to boot into Windows, probably Windows 10. And if it's got anyone else's logon details, I'll need to blur that out. So this is another HP Stream 11. It's got an Intel Celeron N3060 and two gigabytes of RAM and a 31 gigabyte eMMC. It looks like they've reset it. So that's quite interesting. I could go through these steps, um, get to the desktop. I, I'm gonna skip connecting to the Wi-Fi and just use Express Settings and see if that speeds up the process of getting to the desktop. it's rebooted and is starting up again and hopefully we'll get into Windows it's missing one of these little rubber things here It wants me to create an account. I thought I'd try this power adapter that came with it just so I know that it works. Oh, and of course it's switched off because the battery is dead. But yeah, this adapter works so we can carry on getting into Windows. So we're on the desktop. Um, HP wants us to register the product. I think an interesting thing about some of these um, 
bundled packages it's, it's, it's sometimes you get a really good offer in terms of I think Dropbox perhaps so yeah here's Dropbox and normally on a free Dropbox plan you get about two gigabytes I think sometimes when you sign up from here you get 25 gigabytes Dropbox space for a year so that's quite a nice thing to get free um, and then obviously if it's full and you've run out of a year then you need to try and empty it but yeah sometimes you get some nice little bonuses but let's get back to the point of this laptop I'll show you what the plan is it is basically to grab the other one put them side by side and then I'm able to boot both systems up and see which is the quickest and how they perform doing similar tasks. So this one's got Linux Lite on, this one's got Windows 2000. We press the power button and we'll see what happens. Hopefully it registered the power button press. We've got Linux Lite booting over here. We've got Windows 10 booting over here and it's looking like Windows 10 is booting quicker. They're both installed on the eMMC drive. In fact, that was really quick for Windows 10. This is going to be an early version of Windows 10. Um, so if we have a look at command prompt, and run version, we've got Windows 10.0.2. 10.5.8.6 and we're still waiting for Linux Lite to boot up over here. Just have a look at Task Manager on this one. Gives us something to look at. We can see that we've got Intel Celeron N3060. 1.6 gigahertz, it's dual core but it turbos to 2.47 gigahertz. There's two gigabytes of RAM with 1.9 gigabytes usable. And Windows 10 is using 1.3 gigabytes at the moment with what you can see on the screen. And we're not connected to the Wi-Fi on this one. Um, so there's no internet connection going on, but it is doing a lot of disk activity. Let's have a look how much space we've got. We're still waiting for Linux Lite to boot over here. We've got 14.7 gigabytes free on this laptop. We've got a mouse pointer over here. And we've got the desktop and it's playing some nice sounds for us. And then we've got the welcome screen for Linux Lite. So um, let's have a look if the system monitor on here. So we can just have a quick look at sort of memory usage, CPU, same CPU here, RAM usage, physical RAM, two gigabytes as a swap file as well. And it says it's using 1.5 gigabytes of RAM with 300 megabytes available. So almost identical amounts of RAM being used by both operating systems. Um, a little bit more RAM available on this one. And we can put a different Linux operating system on here that's lighter than this one. Um, and we can put different Windows operating systems on here. So let me know what you want to see compared. Um, I think a lot of people have done 10 versus 11, Windows 10 and 11 and LTSC and various different comparisons. And then, mm, there's some difference, but it hasn't been that dramatic. It's not certainly not as dramatic as 
how long this one took to boot into Linux compared to how quickly this one booted into Windows 10. So this is this is um, the idea behind this. Two identical laptops, both got the same specifications, and yeah, it's just so neat that these are so cheap, um, and they are actually usable, in my opinion, you know depending on what you want to do. There's obviously a lot of caveats. If you get a light operating system on here, you can use it for general web browsing, YouTube playback, things like that. Um, if you want to do lots of different things, lots of multitasking, gaming, etc., these are not great. And you should definitely try and find a laptop with four gigabytes of RAM. Um, you can get you know, IBM ThinkPads for around 30, 35 pounds, um, 40, 50 pounds with, you know, eight gigs of RAM, uh, fourth gen Intel processors may be better and SSD drives, actual laptops that you can use for day-to-day -day work and general use. Whereas these are fun to play with these little low power laptops um so yeah leave a comment let me know what you want to see tested and maybe i'll put a poll to have a look on the different parts of my youtube channel and we'll see what we can do thanks for watching thanks for sharing thanks for subscribing and leave a comment see you in another video bye let's see how quickly they shut down. So I'm going to press shut down at the same time. I think we might have a winner on the left. Bye.